Hey guys, it's me, Kai Wolf. Uh, sorry I've been gone again. Nothing bad happened this time. I swear. It's just every time I want to make a video, I end up starting the process and then be like, dang it, didn't even, didn't even record it like I had planned. Uh, not even kidding, I had like three projects I was planning to record, but I never did it because I always forgot by the time I was like halfway through. Um, but this time, I only forgot in the first step. So, a little bit of, a uh, little bit of improvement. So, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you how to cast um, a fursuit head made out of clay. So, like, you sculpt the head out of clay, and then you, like, cast him, whatever, you'll see. Um, but, as always, I forgot to hit record when I started the clay, um, and I already put the first layer of silicone on. So, I'll explain as I film the rest how this all works, kind of thing. So, yeah. Okay, so when you do this, wear gloves, because it gets quite sticky. And then I fill half a cup of part A and part B, and then um, I start mixing them together. Mix for about uh, 30 seconds to a minute until you can't really tell the color difference between the two. Um, and then I start spreading it on as evenly as I can uh, with the sponge brush. And you can see I go over quite a lot because I try to minimize as, as much as it drips, you know, try and get as, try and get as much as I can in. Um, obviously that's really hard because you can tell it's, it drips a lot, but you do the best you can. Um, so do that, and then once you've finished one coat, wait an hour, and then come back and start the process over again. As for the number of coats to put on, I saw this um, frequently being asked on other tutorials. Um, I generally put on six to eight coats, which is either three to four trial unit kits. Uh, yeah, this process is a bit expensive, but I think it's worth it in the long run. So. I, in this one, I used three trial kits, which was six coats, but again, you can get another one and use eight coats. It just depends on how it's being covered and what you think is gonna be good enough. The whole world, how you gave him an M. Ah! I'm sick of you little girl and boy, all you do is enjoy me, so I had to sit here to destroy you. And there's a million others just like me, who cuss like me, who just don't give a f like me, who dress like me, walk, talk, and act like me, just might be the next best thing, but not quite me. I'm Slim Shady, yes, I'm the real shady. Cause I'm only giving you things you joke about with your friends inside your living room The only difference is I got the balls to so say it in front of y'all And I don't gotta be false or sugarcoated at all I just get on the mic and spin it and whether you like to admit it I just better than 90% of you rappers out kid. Then you wonder how can kids eat up these albums like This is funny, cause at the rate I'm going when I'm 30 I'll be the only person in a nursing home flirty Bitch and nurses asses when I'm my jerkins And I'm jerking with this whole bag of Viagra isn't working And every single person is a slim shady lurking He could be working at Burger King spitting on your onion rings Or in the parking lot circling screaming I don't give a put his windows down in the system up so with the real shady, please stand up And put one of those fingers on each hand up And be proud to be out of your mind and out of control And one more time, loud as you can How's it go? I'm the same shady, yes, I'm the real shady All you other slim shadies are just imitating So what the real shady? So here I am now making what is called the mother mold. It helps the silicone keep its shape when you're putting the expandable foam in. It's basically just a bunch of plaster sheets uh, and I put them in water and then start putting them around the head. And you can tell I'm not really going on the other side yet. That's because you want it to be in two halves. So I put a quite, quite a few amount of layers. I use about two of these uh, sheets of plaster, two rolls, so I am putting a good amount on and I'm building a ridge down the middle so I can separate the two. And I'm going ahead, I'm going ahead and seeing how many layers I put on and I thought it was enough, so now I'm lining the edge with tin foil so the two layers don't get stuck to each other when I try and demold them. So now that I got that on, I start putting more on.
and now at this point I had run out so I went and got some more um, and you'll see that I'm using this roll and then I go back to using it on the other side because I thought it could be a bit thicker and that's okay maybe a bit harder you may have to get the hardened plaster wet again to get it to stick better but it doesn't matter it's still so once the plaster is dry you're going to go ahead and remove the tin foil from the middle um, as I'm doing right now and then I put gloves on to cut the sticky silicone off the edges so I can actually remove it from the head um, and you'll see that the silicone is pretty hard to remove from the clay and that's okay and it's fine if you get clay stuck on the silicone it really doesn't matter at all uh, and once you get the silicone off clean it up it really doesn't matter and then start turning the silicone mold inside out and place it in your mother mold once your silicone is in the mother mold tie the muzzle shut so it is secure on there and then when you're mixing your foam, you can see I have a respirator on. That is extremely important because this is toxic chemicals. So always wear your respirator while doing this. Um, so I mixed two parts A and one part B. Uh, and you'll see that I stir this very quickly because it cures in 30 seconds. <laughs> um, and I stir until it is nice milky white. Then I go ahead and and pour it in the muzzle and the jaw of the head so I get it in everywhere that I need it to and you'll see it is expanding extremely quickly and it even overflows so it's good that you put it in a box uh, and this foam is sticky and it is hot so you can see I kind of touched it there but it's a mess really and be careful not to get it on furniture because it will ruin it. It is extremely hard to get off of anything. Um, so once it's all done, let it set for 30 minutes and then come back. But keep your respirator on because it's still a good idea to keep that on. So at the end of the 30 minutes, I come back out with my respirator and gloves on and I start carefully removing it out. It is going to be a little tricky to get the silicone off as well, but not as bad. Um, you can see, I've got to remove the, the foam from the mother mold because it's kind of sticky. And once you do that, your base is done. Now you just have to cut it and you're all good.